Hello, my friends, and welcome to the True Honor of Robert Wallace. This is the place where we ask, am I choosing the way of Jesus, or am I choosing my own way? We looked at prepare yesterday. Prepare for what exactly? Well, action. Today, I'm going to introduce action from what we've read in Matthew chapter 25 to set our foundation for tomorrow's chew. As we look at the examples in the parables that Jesus shares in Matthew chapter 25, five of the virgins and two of the servants took action. They reaped the reward. Five of the virgins went into the celebration with the bridegroom, and two of the servants entered into their master's happiness. The other five virgins missed the opportunity because they weren't prepared, and they found themselves searching for oil. The third servant unwisely buried the master's gold, thinking that no return was better than a potential loss. They ended up losing what they had sought. When we spend time studying scripture, praying, fellowshipping with other Jesus followers, and doing all these things, they're right, and they're beneficial to our walk in Christ. Is this all there is? Well, no, that's not all there is. Jesus calls you and I to more than an academic spiritual exercise. Our spiritual disciplines and fellowship are useful to action. Jesus calls us to action. There's no greater call than the Great Commission found in Matthew 28, verses 16 through 20. We'll come back to it tomorrow. Walking our talk in everyday life. This is what Jesus calls us to. We won't always get things right, but as we grow by exercising our faith in action, we will grow and learn. We need to remember that God judges our hearts under righteousness. Go back and read Genesis 15, 6 and 1 Samuel 16, 7. Read the entire passage. Allow that to speak to your spirit. And these great verses and passages will help us understand the truth. Jesus didn't just simply study and share about God's love. No, he lived God's love before everyone he met. His actions bore witness to the truth of God's grace, mercy, and love. Am I prepared to take action for Jesus? What action is the Holy Spirit directing me to take today? Do I believe that everything needed to take action will be supplied to me by God. Am I going to choose the way of Jesus that leads to life and life in the full, or am I going to choose my own way? I'm praying for us as we consider these verses, these passages, look at these parables again. Let's invite the Holy Spirit to give us eyes to see and ears to hear God's truth from his word. Let's have receptive hearts and minds to receive these truths, and then let's take action today with the same boldness, commitment, and courage of Jesus to do what the Holy Spirit leads us to do. I pray you'll have a wonderful day, my friends. Go in the peace of God. Blessings to you. Bye for now.